So this is my Suzuki GS750 from 1978. Bought this bike about two or three years ago. Uh, over the time, changed a few things, as you can see. The bike wasn't running when I bought it. It was in stock condition, but really, really bad. And overall, I had to rebuild nearly everything in my own shed um, with the help of some friends and the internet and YouTube videos. I pretty much did almost everything by myself. So. Just to mention the few things which I knew changed. This is a stainless steel 4-in-1 Delkovich exhaust system. It's not legal. Uh, yeah, It's just for now until I get something which I can ride legal on the street. Here in Austria, the headlight is new, headlight brackets are new, stainless steel uh, brake something, don't know how they call it in English. Um, the brake pump is from Kawasaki, I think. Uh, on the end, we have Moto Gadget bar and turn signals, the front fender was cut by myself and painted. I rebuilt all the brakes and all the parts are new. I relocated the ignition switch which is now under the tank. The tank is actually original and in a really good condition. It's just some minor, minor nicks. And it's, I think the paint is called pure orange. And it's really beautiful. The handlebars, or the handlebar, is from a from an old Bonneville. The, this control unit or housing is from a Honda CP500 4 or 754 and I changed a few things. I made an aluminium bracket, painted it black and put some nice little LED lights in it. I also changed the speedo and the tacho and made this bracket to hold all these things. The housing is also from a Honda CB, but inside the speedo and the tacho is original from the Suzuki GS750. Yeah, Polished some parts. I rebuilt the engine and put in an 850 cylinder. Then put on original carbs. Again, rebuilt them and uh, combined them with Kainan AirPods. And she runs great with them. It was a lot of work to make it run, but it's incredible. It's a really, really good feeling. The shocks are from Kony, and I sent them to Icon, which is the brand after Kony, and they rebuilt them for me, so they are as good as new. I also put on some spike wheels, spike rims, 
Okay, I'm not sure how they are called in English, sorry. And I, I did this by myself for almost everything for the first time. It was a lot of fun, but sometimes it came in the ass. In the back we have small LED lights from Mount Gadget, quite bright. We have brake light, tail light, LED, no brand, no idea. I changed the bracket for it, bend it a little bit in order to make everything legal. This is a stainless steel fender and painted black and one of the my favorite parts is the seat this is the one thing I did not by myself I gave it to a pro someone who knows his job and he did it beautiful this is, this is original, this part, this is welded in, this is, I did this, so my girlfriend was riding with me, this doesn't bend, because it's very thin metal, or this is um, a magnet, so this holds the seat to the frame. A little bit of power and strength could pull it up, but it's, it's, it's a nice little gimmick. Yeah. So, this is the bike. From the front. And the nice thing. As you can see, oil, neutral, jam signals, and family, uh, they have to call it in German. Brick light. And you can start the bike with a kickstand. Or if you're lazy, just like me, just by pushing this button. Run smooth on all four cylinders. And Sounds really Yeah. I'm not lying, it sounds awesome, but it's way too loud in Austria. Hopefully, yeah, hopefully no one will get me too fast. Yeah, this was everything. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I hope you enjoy the bike as much as me.